Warm welcome and cherished uh, afternoon to all of our distinguished uh, panelists, honorable dignitaries, speakers, organizers, and sponsors, and my dearest participants and delegates. It's a great privilege uh, for me to uh, propose the vote of thanks and uh, closing remarks and acknowledging the contribution uh, to the area who worked hard to make the conference successful and creating a platform where we can at least share our views and understand what is the pain area and how we can take it up in the next level. This type of event cannot, uh, cannot, cannot happen uh, overnight. The wheels were started moving because initially that idea of innovation through collaboration by introducing the corrosion in oil and gas and power industry, it was derived after a long debate and deliberation and it was the need of the hour. And I am thankful to Mr. R.P. Pandey for his active uh, participation in deriving that name. So, so we are fortunate enough to be supported by a team which is very, very active, passionate and uh, uh, dedicated. And this team has basically proved that that event can be successful. And it's a real team effort. And, I, and, and, and it is a lack of word I am having that uh, their willingness to come, uh, take the task beyond their comfort zone, it was, it was not easy job. The special mention uh, to uh, Mr. Batra, uh, Mr. Heman Shetty and the uh, continuous uh, Mr. Nagar, who were basically pushing everybody uh, and the garland was created by them and they inspired to do their best and stands as a pillar of power. So that's how this event has come, come to a shape. With a deep sense of appreciation, I would like to uh, thank uh, uh, Mr. Pandey once again. I would like to thank the group president and Mr. Honorable Mr. B. Narayan, uh, our uh, uh, professor, uh, Mr. V, Dr. V. S. Raja, uh, uh, for, for giving wonderful insight on the corrosion subject. I have I am in this process for a very long time for the corrosion mitigation technique. And uh, uh, I found that there is a very big gap in the area of application, in the area of uh, understanding mitigation. And that's how there is a huge loss. So it is not only the coating per se, it is surface engineering also playing a very critical role, which has been shown by Dr. Raja in his, uh, so it is an eye opener for everybody. And so, so there is so much of work can be done in this particular area. So this, uh, I would like to uh, conclude that this type of initiative will not only help us to bring the, to bridge the gap and create a paradigm shift in understanding the corrosion protection through innovation. This can be only achieved with the collaboration among each other. It is the institute or industry collaboration or understanding the customer uh, requirement. And that collaboration need to be communicated through this platform that this is what is happening and this is what industry requires and this what this is the where our direction should be and we should work towards that and third one there should be a commitment to really take it up in a very uh, enthusiastic manner uh, and that type of today's participation itself indicates that that type of uh, uh, commitment is there so let us take it up for the next level to keep this tempo high to save our national assets uh, which is uh, basically eroding 3.5% of our GDP because of non-mitigation knowledge of the corrosion. So with that note, I can tell you big thanks to all of you and uh, let, this, let this event successful. Let us uh, having a lot of panel, a lot of uh, conferences, a lot of new topics will be discussed and it should be a really value addition for each and everybody. Thank you once again. Thanks a lot.